A video has been storming the wider data network like a wildfire. Every empire, every planet, have been stormed by it. And how could they not? A view of what has happened at the Plutar Massacre. Actual footage, and not a tower passed down by the various militaries that partook on that day. Plutar is, was, the capital of the Galactic Senate. A world of untold beauty, a true diamond. And now, it's nothing but a lifeless wasteland. A threat new to the galaxy at large seemingly appeared from the void itself right above Plutar, destroying the defending fleets in but a day as they had the drop on them. But they were the fortunate ones, a swift end, something all those on the ground would soon find themselves begging for. A mixture of biological matter and integrated technology soon befell onto the planet, consuming everything in its wake. The horrors that were on the battlefield made even the bravest of the defenders cower like hatchlings. A terror one can only describe as an instinctual reaction, something no condition could ever dream of preparing you for. And by mercy's grace, the recording never showed one of the abominations, for they were far too distant to see. What it did show, a team of medics desperately trying to tend to their disemboweled comrade, even as the screech of artillery grew ever louder, ever closer, and the whistle of rounds flew over their heads. In one instance, all looked to the sky, for a roar shocked all to the core. Hundreds and even thousands of fireballs seemed to be falling from the very heavens. A sight the survivors swear upon their life was coming to their very souls. Soon the balls of flame made contact with the sacred land, with thunderous booms that kicked up dirt and dust. For the first time since the invasion started, pure silence ruled the land. Even the besieging abomination took pause. Only for a moment the silence lasted, as the deep roars broke out from the kicked up dust. Like deep thunder strikes, the sounds boomed as the clouds of dust parted. Beings of pure metal stood, backs facing the broken and scattered survivors. Flashes of light came from their weapons with deafening roars. The being charged towards the abominations. No hesitation, no fear in their earth shaking steps. The survivors were frozen in place. Angels, they muttered, under their breath, as they saw the metal giants unperturbed by fire raining down on them. A flash of light and the roar of engines made the camera bearer's heads turn. A missile made way straight for him and his fellow medics, frozen in fear he could only watch. He could only watch as a black blur leaped in front of the missile before it detonated after making contact with said blur. Engulfed in a ball of fire, dirt and dust gets kicked up as the shockwave reaches the survivors. Moments later they scream in terror as something impacts the ground close to them. Long black metal, twice the size of the medics. On one side, five segments, fingers. On the other, deformed and torn metal, leaking a crimson liquid alongside a brownish black one. Stepping out of the cloud of dust, one of the metal giants stumbles back, collapsing to the ground as the same liquid spill out of his left shoulder, torn metal where once an arm was. A deep roar emerged from the giant as it grasps his weapon, throwing at the abominations once more. It fought for minutes as his kin charged forward, itself staying behind. His movements grew sluggish, his right arm limp. Turning around, it slowly approached the medics, falling to one knee before them. Half of them rushed the angel, without thought. The angel looked at them, Orange lines covered his face as they flickered in and out of life. It raised his remaining arm, dragging it over the now dead soldier's face the medics attended to, closing his eyes. You're... you're injured, one of the medics croaked out, as droppers of crimson still dripped from his torn shoulder. The angel turned to look at the medic, his voice so deep, so unnatural, and yet too calming. Fear not, no more, he spoke before rising. Lumbering to his severed limb, it picked it up, as a bright light consumed his form. The angel gone as quickly as it appeared, with the video soon ending as the medics look at one another. The planet was glanced soon after from the abomination, and the fleet that once besieged now scrap, slowly being consumed by the star. The angels disappeared without a trace, as if they never existed. But now there is proof. Proof that the angels exist.